That's a whole lot of shrimp here. Here we are at the Sanako farm in Sarangani, the Philippines, where a large part of the country's shrimps are being produced. That means we need a lot of land and electricity. Previously, we had to rely only on traditional energy sources. But now we have something smarter and greener. Now, let's dive into conversations with people on the ground to learn more. Hey, Shana, amazing to be here at your shrimp farm. The production is quite exciting here. What all parts are actually consuming electricity? Paddle wheels, it's what you can see running there in the mm. ponds, and it mm. runs 24 7. Uh, how much electricity do they actually consume? Let's mm -hmm. say we compare it like to an air conditioning unit. Yeah, it's almost the same with one air conditioning unit. So we can see it like this each pond has around 8 to 10 paddle wheels. 80 ponds, so you have yeah. like 800 paddle wheels. Yeah, we can compare that to 800 air conditioning units. Smart PV systems in action here. Yeah, this is around 2,096 panels. That's amazing. How much do the, all these panels produce in electricity every year? Monthly, we produce 70,000 kilowatt hours. So in a year, that's about 840,000 to 850,000 kilowatt hours. Yeah, and it covers up around 25% of our power requirement. Then the farm can be even more green and sustainable, yes. which is uh, mm -hmm. good for your business for bottom line. That's the goal. We are here at uh, Sanacor 2 in the control room. Uh, could you maybe explain what the devices here are about? They call inverter, okay. which convert the DC electricity coming from the solar panel outside, then coming here wow. and then going to the grid to use by the, the plant. So the control room has composed of all the metering system okay. as well as the data gathering system. Is there any system in place where we can see uh, how much electricity is being produced? Actually, I do have a own application. They mm -hmm. call it uh, Fusion Solar. Okay. So you can see that we can monitor what's happening right now within the okay. system as well as the demand of the client. What's the other number? The two? Yes, the two. So meaning most of the requirements are coming from the solar at this moment. And only two gigawatts are coming from the grid system. Yes, that's right. I wanted to ask you to hear uh, how has the system been performing here over the last couple of years? Okay, I may say based on the experience of the owner, of the user, mm. they are more satisfied with this uh, output or the, the quality of our installation as well as the quality of the generation. Mm. So they're just benefiting right now about 20 to 25% less Instead of coming from the grid, we use the solar power, which is free energy. And have there been any problems? When it comes to inverter, so far we don't have any encountered problem with this uh, inverter, especially the Huawei. And I might say, I think it will last for more. No, mas guapo zero, mas ulan pa wala zero kay hindi na kayo yun yung na magkuan pag dinset o insadra para ipanaw ko na magbrenap tigado ang ano pan buhi. Gina encourage yun ako ang uh, all or most of a uh, big farm na mag ano yun, mag mag try or ng solar so para makasave and makahelp with the environment. Today's visit opened my eyes how solar tech is used here at Sanacor Farms, making it energy efficient, eco-friendly, and a shining example for the entire aquaculture industry looking to go green and digital. Huawei Digital Power strives to develop clean power and enable energy digitalization in order to drive the energy revolution together with our partners and clients. Together, we are on the road into a green future, combining tradition with modern tech.